my name is Mira Medlin and this is my CSA Day portfolio presentation. I just want to thank you so much for coming to this presentation and I hope that you all enjoy it. So to start off here is a little bit about me. I'm from Running Rapids, North Carolina. Um, I came to Meredith to major in interior design and I'm also getting a minor in marketing. Um, I'm really interested in all of the design fields, commercial, residential, hospitality. I think that my ideal job maybe would have a mixture of all of those, but I am really excited to see what the future has in store for me and which field of design that I end up in. Um, some of my strengths, the top five Clifton strengths are something that is really big here at Meredith, so I thought that it would be good to include. Maybe you could get to know me a little bit more. So these strengths are positivity, communication, strategic, responsibility, and adaptability. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. Um, here on the right, we have my resume, and it just goes through um, just like a little bit of profile, um, my education skills, my leadership roles at Meredith, and some of my design experience through internships. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this, but please feel free to pause the video um, and take a deeper look into it. So here is my table of contents. These just This just shows the four projects that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one is the Benefit Cosmetics Corporate Office. Um, the project objective for this was to research a company of our choice and design a two-story corporate office for that company. Um, I did choose the company Benefit Cosmetics just because I love that company as a brand um, and the products that they create. And I also think that it is a really fun brand with a cool um, Kind of style to it so I thought that it would be good to challenge myself with trying to create an office for them. So this headquarters had to include office spaces and Eden area as well as a retail space. So the first image up there at the top is the first floor you see that you just walk through um, and you're greeted with the reception desk and then the offices and the cafe space kind of branch out from, from there and that's kind of the same plan on the second floor which is below that middle is the middle picture. Um, you just come up the stairs and then there's a little welcome like area and then the office space is kind of branch out from that hallway. And then the bottom photo is a section drawing elevation of the south floor, the south side of the first floor. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here again, um, but just pause it if you want to get a deeper look at it. Um, I created these floor plans and the elevation with Revit. Here is the Benefit Cosmetics um, renderings, and I love renderings. They're one of my favorite parts about the process of interior design and designing a space. Um, the concept for this was to create um, a space that embodied Benefit's beliefs, and their beliefs are laughter, glamour, and innovation. Those are their like, top three things that they believe at their company. Um, and so I use clean lines and encouraging pops of paint, glamorous finishes. Um, They're all incorporated into the space to establish a really fun work environment that is full of prosperity. Um, so that first picture at the top is the reception area, which you see when you first walk through the doors. I wanted it to be um, really eye-catching, and I think that the photos on the wall do a good job of showing Benefit's products as well. They're like fun pictures, like with all different types of girls, just like being confident in themselves. And I think that that is something that Benefit really strives for. Um, and then over on the right side, we have Benefit's Cafe. I'm going a little bolder in here with adding some black. Um, and then the bottom photo is the president's office. So the next project that I'm going to be talking about is called the Smooth Sailing Classroom. And this was actually a team project. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, who did what as I continue, but this project objective was to research and design a classroom for children with autism. And this is really the first project where we had to do a lot of research. I didn't know much about this when we started, um, but it was really important to research so we can make sure that we were designing this space to meet those children's needs, um, those children's individually as well as the group's needs. 
um, that was really important for us as a group. Um, these floor plans and the elevations were actually created by my teammate, but I wanted to add them so that you could really get the full picture of the classroom. Um, down at the bottom are, are some elevations and some of the finishes that we used in this space. Here are the renderings, and I created these renderings. Um, the concept for this was to create a soothing, simple space for learning, playing, and growing. And this calm environment will allow children to feel at ease while making friends and interacting with one another. This classroom was styled to, to meet the needs of these special needs children. And we chose the theme Smooth Sailing because it represents a peaceful learning environment. Um, and we chose the color blue. Also in our research, we found that that color really helps soothe these children um, and really like helps them feel at ease. And I added those um, window coverings um, as well as like the wood floor, like some earthy tones, um, just to kind of bring a lot of texture into the space, um, make it not feel so um, like strict, I guess, um, it would be a good word for it. I also add those tents in the corner just because in our research we found that children really like to, those children with autism really like to be by themselves in a space where they feel safe. Um, so we added that. So all throughout the classroom we added pieces from our research that I think was really important to point out. Next project that I'm going to be talking about is the Rune Adaptations Project. This project objective was to adapt the same room for three different end uses. It was a sitting room for an elderly woman, an office for a middle-aged man, and a bedroom for a teenage girl. And these were all created with SketchUp. Um, so the first one I'm going to be talking about is Cecilia's sitting room. And Cecilia wanted a room that embodied her young spirit. And so I tried to do that through the use of pattern and color. We want the really fun wallpaper um, and then just some different pops of pinks and golds. Um, we arranged com comfortable furniture um, in, in an area for conversation. She said that she really liked to have her friends over and she had a book club. Um, so we wanted to make sure there was plenty of room for seating where they could talk to each other. Um, and this was a space where friends and family should feel welcome anytime. So this is Cecilia's room. And then this next page shows Jim's office and Sadie's bedroom. Jim is actually a veteran. So I had to research a little bit about what would be good for him. Um, the space is bright with neutral colors and earthy tones. Um, we use soft textures um, and that just really helps the room feel safe for Jim. Um, and then Sadie's bedroom is a room that's perfect for getting her schoolwork done, hanging out with her friends and relaxing. Um, I used a lot of textures and patterns here, the wallpaper, um, the double rugs here um, you can see just kind of create a lot of texture and a welcoming vibe to the room. I added that window seal so that her friends could have plenty of space to sit when they come over to hang out. So this is Sadie and Jim's room. The last project that I'm going to be talking about is the Touchdown Airport Lounge and this was also a group project. I was responsible for the reflected ceiling plan um, and collaborating on choosing the fixtures and furnishings and the floor plan. So this project objective was to create a lounge space within San Francisco's International Airport. And this space needed to be stylish yet functional, um, allowing for travelers to work or relax here. Um, so up at the top, you can see the rendered floor plan. Um, you can see that when you walk in, you're greeted by the receptionist. Um, then there's kind of like a little eat-in area. Um, and then moving back through the space is the lounge area. And then on the left are the office spaces. And these are kind of more open and closed off. Um, those first two with the yellow are private. And then the back one is a little bit more open. Um, so there's something for everybody here, whether you want to grab a quick, quick drink before your flight or take a business call. Um, that was something really important that we incorporated here in this space. Um, down at the bottom is the reflected ceiling plan. Um, you'll be able to see a little bit more about what's going on on that in the next slides. And then those are just some finishings. So here, I didn't do these renderings um, my teammate did them in Chief Architect and I think they look great, but I did want to add them just because you can really see the different ceiling details here. So down on the first one on the left, you can see this custom wood 
um, kind of detail that we added here um, and about the reception desk. I just kind of thought that this really just would catch these customers' eyes from the very beginning um, and just created a really fun piece to look at. Um, down on the bottom rendering is the lounge area perspective. And here you can see that we created a custom glass ceiling, um, which was really cool. Um, and it's a little bit hard to tell what it is on the, just the plan. So it was really cool how we had it rendered here, I think, at least. <laughs> um, and then over on the back, uh, just a little bit, you can see that we have that hanging plant like fixture, which really brings a lot of light and um, earthiness to the space, which I think is really important. Um, and then here in the elevations, you can see this ceiling detail here in the elevation as well as the reception area. Um, and then this is just an elevation of our Eden area. So that concludes my presentation for today. I just want to thank you again so much for listening to me and watching my, me present my portfolio. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. You can reach me by phone or email. I hope to hear from you soon, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.